Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. Today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? You don't? Well, it's Dr. Seuss's birthday. Oh, Dr. Seuss is one of my most favorite people in the whole world. You know why? Because he created the best character in the whole world. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> well, it's me, <laughs> the cat in the hat. Oh, I love birthdays. Oh, and today, since it's somebody's birthday, we get to sing songs. And it's Dr. Seuss's birthday, so we're gonna read one of his books. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, do you want me to sing a song? <sighs> okay, <laughs> come along. When the news is all bad, when you're sour and blue, when you start to feel mad, you should do what I do. Tell yourself how lucky you are. When your life's going wrong, when the fates are unkind, when you're limping along and get kicked from behind, tell yourself how lucky you are. Why did cry a cloudy sky, an empty purse, a crazy universe? My philosophy is simply things could be worse. <laughs> so be happy you're here, think of life as a thrill, and if worse comes to worse, as we all know it will, thank your lucky star you've gotten this far. And tell yourself how lucky you are. How lucky, how lucky you are. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I am exhausted after all that singing and dancing. I think now would be a good time to read a book, don't you think? One of Dr. Seuss's books. Let me look at my collection. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh, oh, this is one of my favorites. And you want to know why it's one of my favorites? Because it's all about me. <laughs> oh, this is called The Cat and the Hat Comes Back. Uh, I thought Sally and her brother needed to have a little more fun. So I thought I'd come back. <laughs> Let's give it a read. Yeah, you guys get comfy too, because we're ready to read this book, right? The Cat in the Hat Comes Back by Dr. Seuss. Oh, so excited. Oh, that is one good looking cat. This was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go. When our mother went down to the town for the day, she said, somebody has to clean all this away. Somebody, somebody has to, you see? Then she picked out two somebodies, Sally and me. Well, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, but there's me. Well. There we were. We were working like that. And then who should come up but the cat in the hat? Oh, oh, Sally said. Don't you talk to that cat. That cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. I'm not that bad. <laughs> he plays lots of bad tricks. Don't you let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. Well, yeah, the last time I was there, we had fun. <laughs> Play tricks, laughed the cat. Oh, my, my, no, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay there, you two. I will go in the house and find something to do. 
And see, the cold isn't my favorite because it gets my paws all wet. And I don't like my paws being cold either. Then that cat went right in. He was up to no good, so I ran in after him. Do you know where I found him? You know where he was. He was eating cake in the tub. Yes, he was. The hot water was on, the cold water too. And I said to that cat, what a bad thing to do. But I like to eat cake in a tub, laughed the cat. You should try it sometime, laughed the cat as he sat. <laughs> Multitasking, one of my favorite things. And then I got mad. This was no time for fun, I said. Cat, you get out. There is work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you here eating cake like a pig. You get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and let it run out. Well, he didn't have to yell at me. It wasn't very nice. The water ran out and then I saw the ring. A ring in the tub. And oh boy, what a thing. A big, long, pink cat ring. It looked like pink ink. And I said, will this ever come off? I don't think. Sorry. <laughs> Have no fear of that ring, laughed the cat in the hat. Why, I can take cat rings off tubs just like that. Do you know how he did it? With mother's white dress. Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. <laughs> That's all he asked me to do was clean the tub, and I did. Then Sally looked in. Sally saw the dress too, and Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow, but that dress, what a spot. It may never come off, Sally said. It may not. But the cat laughed. Oh, I can make the spot go the way I take spots off a dress. It's just so. See here, laughed the cat. It is not hard at all. The thing that takes spots off a dress is a wall. Then we saw the cat wipe the spot off the dress. Now the dress was all clean. But the wall, what a mess. Well, again, he asked me to clean the dress and I did. Oh, wall spots, he laughed. Let me tell you some news. To take spots off a wall, all I need is two shoes. Whose shoes did he use? I looked and saw whose. And I said to the cat, this is very bad news. Now the spot is all over dad's $10 shoes. Hmm, that's a good price. It's a good price, $10 shoes. Sounds like they were on sale. But your dad will not know about that, said the cat. He will never find out, laughed the cat in the hat. His ten dollars shoes will have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on this rug in the hall. But now we have rug spots, I yelled. What a day. Rug spots? What next? Can you take them away? Again, I cleaned the shoes. Don't ask me, he laughed. Why, you know that I can. Then he picked up the rug and away the cat ran. I can clean up these rug spots before you count three. No spots are too hard for a cat like me. He ran into dad's bedroom and then the cat said, it is good that your dad has that right kind of bed. Then he shook the rug, correct. Now the bed had the spot, and all I could say was, now wh what, cat? Now what? Again, I cleaned the rug. But then the cat just stood still. He just looked at the bed. This is not the right kind of bed, the cat said. To take spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat in the hat. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is when one of my friends comes in. 
It is good I have some someone to help me, he said, right here in my hat on top of my head. It is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot. This is Little Cat A. And then Little Cat A took the hat off his head. It is good I have someone to help me, he said. This is Little Cat B. And I keep him about, and when I need help, then I let him come out. Oh, aren't they so cute? They all look like me. <laughs> and then B said, I think we need little cat C. That spot is too much for the A cat and me. But now have no fear, we will clean it away. The three of us, little cats B, C, and A. Oh, I love having all this extra help. Less work on me and more fun for me. Come on, take it away, yelled Little Cat A. I will hit that old spot with this broom, do you see? It comes off the old bed, it goes on the TV. And then Little Cat B cleaned up the TV. He cleaned it with milk, but put the spot in a pan, and then C blew it out of the house with a fan. See, we're getting the job done. But look where it went, I said, look where it blew. You blew the mess out of the house, that is true, but now you made snow spots. You can't let them stay. Let us think about that now, said C, B, and A. They're very good thinkers. They come up with a lot of good ideas, like me. With some help, we can do it, said Little Cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw Little Cat D. Then pop, 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 Little Cats E, F, and G. Yay, more help. <laughs> we will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away, said Little Cats G, F, E, D, C, B, A. They ran out of the house then, and we ran out too, and the big cat laughed. Now you will see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are all good shots. My cats have good guns. They will kill all those spots. But the, this did not look very clever to me. Kill snow spots with pop guns? That just could not be. Ugh. They're so talented. We're going to get the job done. We're going to get it done. They just need to trust us. All this does is make more spots, we yelled at the cat. Your cats are no good. Put them back in your hat. Take your little cats, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Put them back in your hat and you take them away. Oh, no, said the cat. All they need is more help. Help is all that they need, so keep still and don't yelp. Let's see, we're gonna get all the help we need. Uh, yeah, they need to trust me. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get the job done. Then Little Cat G took the hat off his head. I have Little Cat H here to help us, he said. Little Cats H, I, J, K, L, and M, but our work is so hard, we must have more than them. We need little cat N. We need O. We need P. We need little cats Q, R, S, T, U, and B. Come on, kill those spots. Kill the mess, yelled the cats. And they jumped up the snow with long rakes and red bats. They put it in pails and they made high pink hills. Pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and little pink pills. I love pink. Oh, the things that they did, and they did them so hard. It was all one big spot now all over the yard. But the big cat stood there, and he said, This is good. This is what they should do. And I knew that they would. With a little more help, all the work will be done. They need one more cat, and I know just the one. Look close in my hand. I have little cat V. On his head are cats W, X, Y, and Z. They're so tiny. Z is too small to see. So don't try. You cannot. But Z is the cat who will clean up that spot. Now here is the Z you can't see, said the cat. And I bet you can't guess what he has in his hat. He has something called Voom. 
Boom is so hard to get, you never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, you Boom cleans up anything, clean as can be. Then he yelled, Take your hat off now, little cat Z. Take the boom off your head. Make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh, Voom fixes all my problems all the time. I keep it in the pantry constantly. You should get some sometime. It's hard to find. Then the boom, it went boom, and oh boy, what a boom. Now don't ask me what boom is. I never will know, but boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. So you see, laughed the cat, now your snow is all white. Now your work is all done. Now your house is all right. And you know where my little cats are, said the cat. The boom blew my little cats back in my hat. And so, if you ever have spots now and then, I will be very happy to come here again. I told them to trust me. Never fear, cause the cat, the cat will be here. With little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat, U and cat B and little cats W, X, Y, and Z. And the end. Oh, thank you guys for celebrating with me today. Oh, I wish I could see your bright, shining, beautiful faces. Hey, but at least you got to see my shining, bright, beautiful face. Oh. Oh, happy birthday to Dr. Seuss, and I hope you guys have a Seussified day. Bye-bye.